George stared silently as Br at Briggs, and Briggs started laughing. Chose self-confidence in Briggs. Well, some of his supporters thought he might have been a little psyched out at the weigh-in where he would bo was bothered by asthma in the bout. Atlas said he never said anything about murder, so he feels as though he's coming out of his form. Punches in the first round. If he uses the ring and stays away from the ropes, he wins the fight. If he goes... Briggs into the corners and there and there comes the foreman jab which was so evident in his conquest of as George lands a little bit less than a minute left in the round and Briggs is landing a pretty good both fighters trying to establish the Shannon Briggs giving you a preview of the footwork that he, his trainer says he cannot afford to give good job good job good job as has been his custom in the comeback career, standing in the corner between rounds, Angelo Dundee offering a few small nuts. We're joined at ringside by the world heavy, if you will, Lennox Lewis. And Lennox, everything's going well so far. Might be able to establish his punches and, and, and use his speed. He's, def he's definitely an option to me, whether he ends. It'll depend on the money, Lennox. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> If Briggs wins the f a fight, well, I know my friends down at Suzy Q's wants me to do that. No, it's in Toronto. Aha. Uh -huh. Foreman working behind the jab. Fight goes, the more George is going to get him. Saw how George was able. Isn't that really his biggest secret, Lennox, the relaxation? Definitely. Missing with the left there. But coming back to stick the jab, and Shannon Briggs. I which is worry is that he doesn't have this because of these asthmatic conditions. <laughs> Riggs manages to land a left over the top for George Foreman. Nice job, Lennox, quick thumbnail prediction. Who's going to win the fight? Well, the best job, man. <laughs> Angie asking George to throw that telephone pole jab. And George starts to have nothing to do. Hope he's saving... specific art boxing is. I mean, the yeah, George's technicianship gives to do. And let me tell you something else, Jim. You know, twice about himself. Stuff like that. Am I hurt? Am I looking foolish? What's going on here, you know? He can guess himself. It's a really good point. Right? Now, he's slacked and punching. You see that? Because he's tired. You get tired of running from a guy. It takes a lot out of you to run from Riggs. a guy. for Griffin after the, after before. So far, everything going George Foreman's way, or so it seems, against Shannon Briggs. That's George's best weapon because people don't see it coming. Time. Come on. Shannon looks awfully tired. Don't reach for him. He's ready to go. Here's George patiently stalking Briggs. A left that was short. And I'll tell you what, Larry, this Briggs corner is feeling this sense of urgency that we're talking about here. Yeah, yeah you heard better in cutting. He tried to shame Briggs into fighting, saying, come on, you're supposed to know what you're here for. Briggs, first three rounds, and that won't get it done. Look at Right hand, Briggs not releasing the right hand up to this point in the bout. Shannon seemed to know that he needed to add about a 70% clip. One reason he's not throwing that right hand is because he can't see a top. I stop easy if you have a jab. <laughs> Very easy if you have a jab. Oh, Shannon's starting to feel real bad now. And the crowd is not hitting the middle. Oh, good shot. And by Briggs as he suddenly comes out of his... Yeah, but this is sort of like the last thing. If that doesn't work, then what's he going to do? Um, Briggs sa said that the Brownsville would come out of him sooner or later, meaning that he... Well, for his... To punches in this round that had been the case in the two three. We're getting close to a penalty. To the George to the punch with the jab, but it's happened all too rarely. Why isn't he throwing the right hand, do you think, Roy? Because he doesn't see a right hand talk. Angelo Dundee asking Foreman to get in close and nail his man with the left hook. To answer your question, Jim, a lot of guys, when they see George throw them jeeps around, they feel like body punches won't hurt them. Logic tells you plan A and working, you got to try plan B. Cut the corner, cut the corner, cut the corner. Piece of loose tape on the glove. Okay, okay. Little cameo for Dundee here. 
Angelo didn't do this on purpose. <laughs> For what? <laughs> Hard right hand by Briggs. You see a 48-year-old guy here. Oh. Briggs getting a couple of open shots. Foreman lands that right across the top. To hurt people with glancing blows, you wondered if it was gone. I'm not surprised. Harold oh. lands to one. 39 Foreman. He just keeps walking him down, walking him down, and wrapping him up. You're asking that opponent's <laughs> list. Oh, that was a good body shot. I got him. I got him. Let's go. Let's go. Don't let George have what he wants. That's the out of the Morrison book on how to beat Foreman. Jab. That's to keep punching George like that. Right there. And he's got to try to give George angles instead of being in front of him as he has been throughout so much. No, uh, these punches look so slow from George, you're thinking, how do they land? Obviously, it's deceptive. Very deceptive. Yep. Throw yeah. straight right hands and lead with. Hands are free. Come on, pick him up, pick him up, Sam, pick him up. Look at Briggs Watch showing the small pockets of awareness here and there. about how the crowd gets in his head. Right, the crowd gets in anybody's head like this, not just him. There's a quick left hook inside that landed flush for Shannon Briggs. Watch him. All in all, to this point, Briggs has not been able to hit Foreman the way Savarese did, the way Axel Schultz did, the way Michael Moore did for nine rounds. Halfway through. Best round, uh, did you? I thought that was his best round since the first. I was about to start thinking he is submitting, giving in, but he found something exploited. If he continues to do that right here, every round he's talking yeah, about. Harold Letterman gave him the round also. So he punches. Big power punch edge for. Yeah, use your hands feet on him. Let him go. Hands free. Great. A good punch on Briggs for some time now, though. Or changing. No, I think Briggs is doing the right. It's a whole lot of difference, you know. When we had him on against Daryl Wilson last year, we ran a profile of him, which was a star profile. We were as shocked. Under when you profile him and you do all these type things, and it's the first time. Deb. Shannon Briggs with a combination to the body and the right uppercut to the chest was a real good idea. And now he's out punching George. He's out working George. I think he's fighting a lot smarter fight now. Go for a soccer shot. George Foreman is a compelling figure. But at least it's changing in round six or seven. Briggs by the fact that CompuBox numbers in round seven showed Foreman attempting only 21 punches. I got it. Five rounds to two. 68-65 George Foreman. I think he certainly lost the sixth round. I'm talking about Foreman. But he just keeps walking him down and wrapping him with the hardest shots. I think he's winning the fight. He's winning the eighth round. Rounds two and one even. One round. I think you got that one round even from the get-go, you know? I'm glad I got it out of the way. <laughs> the top with the right hand. With the bout. Yeah, and because Briggs is not being offensive, offensive. the best defense is offense. His feet have stopped moving, his hands have stopped moving, and took across the top. Great point. The best defense, particularly against a fighter like Foreman, is a good offense. The best defense, period, in my case, I think, is a good offense. Sure, Hard right it. hand. At least that's what my dad taught me. <laughs> and he taught you well. That was the hardest punch of the fight. George, he must sense or that he just doesn't have any more movement. And six. Yeah, but he can strip the punches. He's in there. Oh, good shot by Breeze. That was more. Left hook to the body down low. Very, Very good more shot. Hard right hand across the top for Foreman. Round eight, the biggest crowd pleaser of the bout. You can't let Foreman run. Oh, I love that left. It's a very good idea.
Tyson Smith. And Foreman, who threw 21 punches in round seven, threw 67 punches in round eight, and landed 60 pounds for Foreman, fueled by the jab. He was 25 for 36 in that category. Did they say Shannon Briggs, the one that had asthma, was it the, uh, the corner man? The corner man seemed like he was struggling a little bit just, just now. Or maybe he was just overexcited. Asthma, I think his concern was he never raised it before. Fight, waiting for Shannon to get his eye stitched up, that Briggs never said a word to him about asthma. As I've never been so hurt in my life, and that he believes deep at heart he's always been a boxer. Amongst one another, one another why... punctuates the exchange with a right cross. So Foreman chases him across the ring and lands his own tree. If he keeps on knocking little ditches out, he's going to eventually chop you down. Good body shot by George. <laughs> oh, Shannon is in George's territory right now. Give him the gold star for bravery then. Yes, yeah, he's fighting. He has That's been hit amazing. with some jabs himself. Jabs through round nine. Foreman landing 120 of 177. Once again, starting out the correct way. Ten across the top. He had a big rally in round nine of the Valdez fight. Let's see if he's got something saved. For like any jab I've seen before. <laughs> Look more like a... Larry, among all the heavyweights you've ever covered, whose jab did you like the best? Larry Holmes had a great jab. Did. La Veritable tonight. You've heard from Lennox Lewis. Brunel Whitaker sitting in the row right behind. Young heavyweight Michael Grant. One round knockout. Totally one-sided affair. The two had dominated with body punching. He knocked Lally. Well, the good thing about the young fighters is, why don't you think he fights so much? Oh, that was a good body shot by Shannon. Hard right, right hand of the body. Sets up a combination up top. Foreman feels the need to come back with a... Body shot. That one hurt him. Briggs came right back, took that idea, and then popped George on top of his head. If, if seven, 28 out of 44 punches, 64%. 20 of those lands, power shots. Let's see he, if he can okay, step up the pace. Whatever happens in this fight, what you look for in a young fighter is heart, courage, championship stuff. I don't see it in... Well, I see a little bit of it because he's taking some good punches tonight. He's showing... 93, seven rounds to three. He's just carrying the fight to Shannon Briggs. I mean, Shannon's landing some more close in the last two rounds, but I think George has got enough rounds in the bank to win the fight. 6-3 and one even. <laughs> Stink, Roy. Either man got a chance to score a knockout in these last four minutes and 40 seconds. Of course, both men still have a big puncher. George, as you know, is one of the biggest punches of all time. I don't think we'll see one. Knockout over Michael Moore. It's the distance. Again. It'll be... You're the one who's supposed to go out there to show yourself. Incidentally, 11 years ago in history, knocking out Trevor Burbick in the second round. Of course, if Foreman, by some other shot at the heavyweight title, he the oldest man ever to win it, as he was the night he knocked out. I think he surrounds then in his whole career up to that point. My points too. I think he has. 81st professional bout. Shannon Briggs. I think so. And trying for the knockout with that hard right hand over the top. But it was short. To the body comes back with a left hook. Jab. 40 seconds of the last round. Briggs is just trying to last it. To keep winning at this long as he can choose his opponents this carefully. Blood around the edges of Shannon Briggs' nose. Foreman's 12th round attack. All four. 
as Briggs backs up. Really showing some heart here tonight, though. He's, he's not being afraid. He's trying. Incredible oh, thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Briggs landing a left to right of his own. Oh. Holding the fate of Foreman's career in their hands. Point, but to our eyes, it appears he's not in danger of that. 230, 68%. It's almost as if he walks up and says, I'm going to hit you with the jab, and you're not going to be able to stop it. And new linear heavyweight champion.